Yo, 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 welcome back. My name is Bert. I am okay. We're doing Vampy Servies. Vampy Servers. We are buying the last part of the curse. And we're going to go a little bit out of order because I want these unlocks. So I know I was doing, like, in order before, like, one character level, 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 but... Right now, we're just gonna Giovanna, which was cat, cat lady. We're gonna be cat lady, crazy cat lady. Crazy cat lady, we're gonna go... We can still do... Let's just do library. List of weapons came through projectiles. Ooh. Listed items come with counterpart or beginning. Let's do beginning first because it's called beginning. Jesus Christ. What is... What is the attack here? I don't know, but I need something different. Um, let's do whip. Song of mana. This, these cats are just terrible. Um, sure, why not? I haven't used that one in a while. Uh, Rune Tracer, I guess. This is a cursed run. Oh my god, I don't like this character at all. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get Recover Health. Please. Oh, this is cursed. Uh, Laurel, please, for the love of Christ. Where are these chests come? Where are these mine carts coming? What is happening? This character makes no sense. Yes, please. Hollow Heart for Whip Evo. Oh my god. Uh. Oh my god, what is happening? Uh, let's do Clover, I guess. We need all the luck we can get right now. I would really like... Um, we'll go Crown. Thank Christ, oh, that's exactly what we need. Oh, I just need to fucking break for a second. This character is... Not great. Um, we'll go Rune Tracer. What is on this map? Red Bible and Stone Mask. So, Red Bible, very useful. We're going to go towards it. We really want armor. Um, I have a couple projectiles. Duplicator can be useful. I don't know if the cats count as projectiles. I feel like... We'll offer cat speed, I guess? Oh my god. I feel like I should've... Should've went for garlic. <laughs> I don't like the cats. I'm, I'm not afraid to say it. I don't like the cats. Um, Laurel, yeah. We will take Laurel. We are also on fully evolved curse, which definitely isn't helping. I am not looking forward to using this character to beat all the levels. Because holy shit. Nope. Effects last longer. What is the effect of the cat? Does the cat have an effect? Is it this weird, like, base area? Yes, please. Please, for the love of Christ. Uh, 
Um, those Song of Mana. Song of Mana is pretty good. I feel like I've got no other Evos. This run is cursed. This run has been cursed from the get-go. If this run makes it all the way, I will be very surprised. Where are those coming from? <laughs> I don't understand. Don't understand this character. No, fuck no. We cannot afford to take that box. Bitch, we can barely fucking survive on normal. Uh, no. We'll do Spellbinder. And we'll make it to the Red Bible, and then we'll go back to the Stone Mask. One more projectile. And that's the chest. We want the chest. Yes, fuck yeah. That's the luck on our side. Nice. More luck. More whip. More health. Very nice. Let me go back and just pick up some XP. Bird of eyes. And then we keep going. So this is kind of nice. Because we can just... We kite down, and we kite up, and then we kite down. And the Song of Mana just kind of destroys everyone. We will absolutely upgrade our health recovery. We have a good amount of health, which is good because we didn't get shields in the end. We do have Laurel, which is kind of like a shield, but not upgraded. It's, it's not that great. But once it's upgraded, it'll be... We'll see, we'll see the usefulness of it. I'm absolutely fine with going all in on upgrading my health first, and then everything afterwards, because I can still clear rows of enemies right now. I wonder what the Corolla does. Like, what, what item on my screen right now is the Corolla. I can't tell. I know it's not that, because that's cats. Am I close? No. I am not close. All of X last longer? Sure. Fine with that. That that ups my cat's damage. I can stand in this cloud now. They're kind of like portable garlics, I guess. I would like to know what the upgrade. Oh, let's go back to this chest. Get another rune tracer. We're happy with that. We're rolling. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit more breathable, at least, right now. Whether or not that's warranted is a completely different discussion. Now all of a sudden it feels warranted because I just had like a million levels in a row. The cats cover so much of the screen now. Okay, so the cats don't seem terrible right now. They don't seem great when you're moving, though. They're definitely a, a stationary... Stationary attacker, which is fine. A stationary attacker is fine to have. It just doesn't lead. It doesn't lend itself well to uh, to moving across the map, which is lame because we want to move across the map. 
Honestly, we've made it longer than it felt like we, we were going to make it out of the gates. I thought this run was DOA, and it's doing not often, so... Let's go damage on the whip up. So we can upgrade the whip. That'll keep things away from us. We also have whip Evo, I believe. Question mark? I don't remember what the whip Evo is. There's the Bible. We will 100% reduce weapon cooldown time. We got lots of weapons with lots of cooldowns. Whirl. Reduce some of that damage we happen to be taking. Are you a beaver? Cause damn. All right, we're, we're getting there. Reduce our cooldowns again. I want to know what's spawning these fucking... these carts, man! What's doing it?! Rune Tracer. We are here. We are in it. To win it. Whip. Whip. Oh fuck yeah. Alright. We're having a good... we're having a good go. I feel like we've hit the level we were supposed to hit. So this run is not in vain. Probably go back in order once I get all these special achievements. I just really wanted to do some more unlocks, honestly. So I hope you'll forgive me, but I'm sure it really does matter, so. As long as I do all of them, that's, that's the important part. No matter what order I do them in. The nice part is the game gives you the checklist, so... I know what I've done and what I haven't done. I know there's a few I did before I started uploading, but... I'll just probably do those at the very end. As, like, little bonuses. Oh, there's only one or two. A couple with the bone dude, and I think maybe one with the garlic guy, maybe. I didn't really get that many victories before I started recording. Because I really wanted to document. Once I knew I really liked this game, I was like, I want to document as much of it as I can. And man, is this game ever, like, the best bang for the buck, in my opinion. I might, on, like, my last Vampire Survivor stream, I might do, like, a giveaway. Like, that'd be fun. Like, give someone else the opportunity to play this game. It's not a very expensive game or anything, but... I think some people are just really hesitant to spend the money, you know? Oh. Nice! Whippy Bo. Fuck yeah. Uh, fuck yeah. Alright. If I get the card, I can also do the lifesteal upgrade. Two Clover. Two Laurel. Upping our luck helps us with better chest RNG, which is why I went over first. 
also didn't know I was gonna have back-to-back -back levels, so... I think the carts might be one of my weapons. I think the carts might be the, the weird roller thing. Look at this madness that is on the screen right now, man. <laughs> I love this game. Hey, a card, look at that. Three bounces? Or do I roll for the cat item? I roll for the cat item. Because I want to know what it is. Honestly, mostly, that's, that's, that's why I did. What in the sweet shivering Jesus is going on on the screen right now? Am I getting close? No, but I also missed a chest. That must be the mine for me. Okay, so I don't have the cat Evo, which is sad. I don't even know if the cat actually Evos or not, but you have to assume it does. The crown's got to Evo something. It's gotta evil one of these things. Look, I've had the crown with almost everything and it hasn't evoed anything yet. I'm killing with that. Rune Tracer? I think I have Rune Tracer, yeah. Rune Tracer Evo is the. Uh... Oh no! Rune Tracer Evo is a shield, I don't have Rune Tracer Evo. What do you gotta what do you gotta say for me? Here's gold magnet. I don't really want to do that. And we're going. Um This is lasting way longer than I thought it was going to. I really didn't like the cat power-up to start. Very scary power-up to start with if you don't know what it does. Because at first it does literally nothing. I almost died to like the first five enemies. But now we've had a solid comeback. We got more luck. Where are we? We're getting close to the- oh, we're almost- almost evo out already. Might need to start playing on hurry, too. I'm so excited for the next time- for the time where I can do the level with a maxed out Taurus box. We're getting there. Now uh, let's. Well, you know we do always big coin bag, and we always regret it. Hey, look at that stone mask. Get more gold, motherfuckers. Imagine banishing it. That'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> I banish you! Oh shit, now I can't upgrade it anymore. It doesn't really do anything. Like, that one coin gave me three coins instead. It really doesn't do a lot. You know what? It's an extra item, so... 
I think that's maxed, yeah. Oh, we missed a chest. Where's the chest? I don't see it. It's somewhere... I'm right next to it. There it is. Alright, here's the chance. Do we get an Evo? I'm not gonna skip it. We're gonna find out together. In real time... Oh, shit! What's that? I didn't get to read it, but it's Evo. It's an Evo. It's an Evo of the cats. I didn't get to see what the Evo combo was. So that's lame, but... Oh, those eyeballs are under my control. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Much better than the cats. Holy fuck, this Medusa has a lot of health. There we go. Get that gold. Get that money. I knew we were gonna get an Evo eventually. We had to. I wonder if it's Stone Mask? I wonder what it is. He gave me the Evo. Flame, because I have no fucking clue. I didn't get to read it. But that's okay. That'll be another achievement. Let's see. There's an attractor way over there we can go for. Get a bunch of levels, get a bunch of coins. Oh, I need to pee. I need to take a pee break. I might need to take a pee break. So I'm going to take a pee break. Real quick. Pee break. Pause the recording. And unstop the recording. Okay, I peed. I am back. Let's resume. We're at 16 minutes. Our build is only mostly scuffed. We have the eyeballs, which seem to be a vast improvement on the cats. And we still have the cats because of that card, I think. So that card was actually fucking clutch as hell. Proves I'm a genius and I'm definitely not just fluking over and over again and getting no luck. I just have the instinct, you know? My, my third eye is open this game. Every time I do something by accident, it's actually just secretly on purpose. It's like how every conspiracy theorist just, like, anything that proves them wrong, it's just, like, evidence uh, that they're even more right than they were. I have, this, um, I have a pet theory about, like, the Kyrie Irving, like, anti-Semitism stuff. That the anti-Semites, like, use Kyrie Irving to, like, try to get more people to be anti-Semitic. Because, like, when anti-Semitic people see people who are openly anti-Semitic get in trouble for being openly anti-Semitic, they're like, well, he's only getting said, he, they only say he can't say that because they're in control and stuff like that because they're fucking idiots. So it really just strengthens their opinion and, and they just really want to see that on like a, the largest possible scale because they're just garbage humans. So that's my, that's my pet theory. They use Kyrie Irving to try to push push even more anti-Semitism. But that guy's just like like if you don't think about the anti-Semitism and you don't think about the vaccine denial. Have you seen that guy's instant Instagram page and like the shit he and his wife sell? Like they are they run a cult. It's crazy and no one talks about it. Let's go. Five piece chest. All bags, but you know what? I'm going to sit here and enjoy it anyway. Do a little dance.
Boom, boom, boom. Get that money, honey. And nothing's ever going to convince him he's wrong. Like, nothing's ever going to convince these people they're wrong. Ever. You try to show them, like, fact-based evidence that they're wrong, it just strengthens their belief that these people are controlling, controlling the narrative. So, like, I think it really is like a cult, honestly. Like, it separates people, it divides people, and, like, that's what foreign invaders want to do. They just want to divide people. Which is why I said, just respect people, man. Just, like, don't hate other people. That's all you gotta do. Like, you don't have to love everyone. Just don't hate everyone. Don't hate anyone. Except for people that hate people. You can hate them. That's fine. It's it's not a paradox of tolerance. It's, you just don't tolerate intolerance. It's that simple. It's not hard to grasp. Tolerate everyone except for the intolerance. It's really easy. Really simple. Learn it in grade school. If my kids can understand it, most adults should be able to understand it. Did I pick up the... Oh shit, let's kill this guy. Yeah, I, I keep him there. Oh, he's getting close. I kept him there for a minute. And then he died. Alright, we've officially... Oh no, we walked past him. Where is it? I went all the way back across the map just for this one attractor up and I can't fucking find it. We're close. Oh, there it is. I found it. This will get us some money, honey. Oh, did you see that? Damn, son. Or daughter. Or non-binary offspring. Again, son, daughter, like, what is the... What's the non-binary word? I need someone who's non-binary to school me. I need a schooling. Need to learn. If you know, drop drop a comment, please. I'd love to learn. Or hit me up on Twitter. And we'll have a conversation. Because I just I just genuinely don't know. I'm not trying to be rude. I just want to know, you know? Uh three bounces or healing. Let's do three bounces. That must be that, then. That must be the fucking minecart. The wheel must be the minecart, is what I've determined. I wonder if the Evo for that's like... Like, do they turn into, like, demon minecarts? That'd be pretty sick, actually. Just get, like, little wardens in them for Minecraft. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Honestly, Warden's kind of ruined, like, mining in Minecraft for me, because, like, now I'm just too scared to go too low. Because, like, they fucking turbo fuck you, if you even get a little close to them. We're going to kill this bat, because we want a treasure chest for no apparent reason whatsoever. Triple! Triple bagger! Boom! 15k, motherfuckers! Almost. I didn't actually hit 15k. I thought I was just gonna like roll over to 15k right away and hold up cool, but um, now I just look like an idiot who just said 15k when it wasn't actually 15k. Now I'm hyper focusing on it and I'm not actually paying attention to anything I'm doing until I get to 15k. I'm 5 away, I'm 2 away. And boom, 15k, motherfuckers. There we go. See? I said it and then it happened. See that? That's that's what was supposed to happen. Let's pretend it happened. For me. Okay? That'll be a secret between me and you. 
That's the difference between me and you. Talk a lot of shit, but you don't do what you're supposed to do. Four bank accounts, three homes, and two vehicles, or whatever. Whatever the numbers add up to there. Get more bags! Three bagger! Go up to 16k. I'm not gonna say 17k at that time because. Because I learned from my mistakes. See, we're learning together. We're learning! Oh man, have you seen the Silent Hill movie from like 2006 or whatever? 2007, probably, somewhere around there? Fuck me, that shit is one of the most unintentionally hilarious movies I've ever seen. There is one scene that just sticks. I don't remember most of it, honestly. There's one scene that sticks out in my memory that's so funny. Where the main character walks into this room. And it's like an attic or something. And there's this little girl who's standing there. She's supposed to be like this dead girl. Supposed to be super creepy or whatever. She's standing there. And she's standing there with her arms up like this. And she's like, I'm burning. <laughs> and she just delivers a line exactly like that. Like completely straight-faced, I'm burning! <laughs> and the person screams, but I was laughing so fucking hard. Holy shit, that scene got me. That and one of my favorite, I know I talked about this already, but I want to talk about it again. One of my favorite unintentional comedies of all time is Paranormal Activity 2. I think it's two or three, I can't remember. All the Paranormal Activity movies are unintentionally hilarious, but Whichever paranormal activity is that has the pool cleaning robot is my favorite. Whatever number that is. I think it's two or three. That pool cleaning robot is one of my favorite characters in all of movies. It's so funny. Every single morning when he has to just kick it back in. It's supposed to be scary, but I find it so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, man. And... I think it was like the fourth Paranormal Activity where they didn't end in a number. It's like Paranormal Activity Requiem or some shit. Me and uh, my wife saw that one in theaters when it came out. And I just remember sitting in the movie. It was a pretty packed theater. Like, it was one of the first nights it was out. Sitting in the movie theater, and I'm going to spoil this movie, so if you don't want spoilers, close your ears. Or just watch the fucking movie. It's like 10 years old. Um, the ending where, like, the guy is running away from the house or whatever, and then he drops the camera, and then there's just, like, 50 people in his yard or whatever. That happened, and the whole theater was quiet, and I was just out loud, I just went, what? <laughs> and everyone in the theater just laughed, because the ending made absolutely no fucking sense whatsoever. The whole movie led up to this part, and it had nothing, like, they never mentioned any more people, they never mentioned anything, and then just all of a sudden there's like a hundred people standing outside. Fuck, that was so funny, man. Those movies are so fucking dumb. And now there's, I think there's a Paramount TV show on, like, Prime or whatever. I need to, wa I need to watch it, because it's going to be hilarious. And I know it's going to be hilarious, because it's a Paranormal Activity. Anyways, we're talking about scary movies. Um, this is not as scary as I thought it was going to be. I do have my Max Curse on. And I was very scared at the beginning. Because the cats... The cats are not early level... Weapons. The cat is not a good weapon to start with. It's definitely um, like a solid Evo. And the card that that gives me the cat and the eye at the same time is pretty solid. But I don't think I'd pick it on a run. I just feel like it's too... It's like a worse version of Santa Claus. It's too random. It's not nearly dense enough until, like, it's fully evolved. Like, one is just awful. Four going on his wall. I'm lagging real harder now. 
take a leg break. There's an item on the field, but I'm way too far away to go get it. And the leg is just too much to even try. So we're just gonna slow room, slow move. Slow move our way through. Oh man, I saw a tweet today that was like, I think it's either today or tomorrow, I can't remember, it was probably today. It was like, um, the NBA, all the teams in the NBA are playing today, and each of the games starts 15 minutes from each other. I'm just like, holy fuck, I wish the NHL could do that. Like, coordinate start times, so not every game has to start at the exact same time. Holy fuck, that's so good. That's such a good system. Like, have all your games start at different times so you can fucking... You don't have to watch commercials. You don't have to sit through fucking intermissions. We're gonna get 20k on this run. Fuck yeah, we got 20k on this run. This is a... It's a money... A very healthy money... Money run. And we don't have anything to spend the money on either. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, we're coming up to the end of this one. Um, again, as I said in the beginning, if I make it to the end of this one, I'll be surprised. And I'm surprised we are here. I'm surprised we made it. Very scuffed, Ron. I feel like that card honestly probably saved it for me. The card that added the eye with the cats. I feel like saved the run. I feel like it easily saved the run. I'm surprised the curse really hasn't made it that much harder. Honestly, I was expecting it to be harder. I'll probably try hurry next time. I'm thinking about it. Hurry or, or the box. We'll see. We'll see what character I have to use for the next achievement I want to get. Because I just kind of want to do some unlocking right now. And then I'll go back to the order afterwards. Just give some variety to you. I'm not always playing with the same hero over and over again. Sorry I'm not moving, but honestly, the, the slideshow speaks for itself, I feel like. I really don't have anything to prove for the last 10 seconds, as long as I'm staying alive, which... I haven't even taken a hit, so I think I'm fine. Fortunate part of this, I'm not really getting any of this experience, but the screen's clearing in three, two, one. Screen finger. Run away! Let's do the re revive just for fun. Oh, we lost a nine seconds that time. We almost got him there. We're, we're, we're 13 seconds. Alright, what did we get? We unlocked the fucking cat, which we're never going to use. And we got the eye. Nice. Well. Didn't get anything there. Didn't think it would. GG's. Uh, make sure to follow, like, subscribe, ring the bell if you want to. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what's your favorite color. I want to know. Mine's green. All right. Love you. Peace.